What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we've got a new video here for the ROG Ally X and credit where credit is due. Asus has pushed out a new GPU driver update and this has fixed all the issues I was having with my Ally X since the December update. Now I covered that here back when we got the update and that there were issues with it and how to roll back. It was breaking the new AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 among other problems with game performance. Now I didn't have this problem on the original ROG Ally. Everything with the new AF MF2 worked just fine. Overlays worked fine and game performance wasn't broken for me in general. But on the Ally X for myself and a lot of you guys, the new AF MF2 feature was pretty broken with or without overlays on, causing issues in games and just just overall there were a lot of games suffering in game performance and just some oddities with the Ally X with that update we had gotten in December. There were a lot of you that commented on that video about problems with certain games, problems with the fluid motion frames, and all kinds of issues we were having with that. And it's been a little bit of a long wait the past six weeks or so to get a new GPU driver update from ASUS. They never really acknowledged the issues, but it does appear they all seem to be fixed. So I got my update over in Armory Crate by going over to Settings and the Update Center and checking for updates, and it popped up for me there, and I plugged in and did the update there. You could also check my ASUS if it isn't popping up for you, or or over on the support website for the ROG Ally X, they already have this new February 3rd release listed there for download. You could do it that way. They have the older December driver there that broke our Ally X's as well, and I highly suggest staying away from that one, but I'm having a lot of good luck with this new driver. So the driver we had previously that we got in December was a November dated 11-15-2024 driver, 24-20-11-07, and now we have a December 14th dated 24-20-33-03. And I am happy to report that, at least for me anyway, all those issues we were having with and without overlays, putting AFMF2 on, are all gone. I can bring up the other overlay here from AMD that will show the fluid motion frames on. I can have my MSI Afterburner up showing base frames, and I can activate fluid motion frames too here, and everything works as intended as it should here on the Ally X. So I was really happy to see this. I can turn that on and off at will with my hotkeys I have set up here on the buttons and it works fine. No more stutter issues, no more performance issues, no more breaking overlays or fluid motion frames not working right and being like super stuttery and janky. It definitely wasn't working right even when you could get it to kick in properly with that December update. Now I want to go check some other games too and it seems to be working everywhere. Another one I jumped into was Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and this game does not run well on the handhelds even with the lower settings uh, but I did have it running here at 1080p for a little bit just seeing what it would do with fluid motion frames. It's actually pretty smooth. This is dramatically better than what we were getting back in December when they updated the GPU driver. Again in this game I can turn fluid motion frames on and off at will here no problem. Can be playing the game, can have both overlays up showing me all of my FPS no issues at all and i have since making this video a little bit ago today jumped in a few other games like marvel uh, rivals uh, cyberpunk and i believe space marine 2 and i played around with this as well kicking fluid motion frames to on and off using the overlays running around didn't have any problems my performance in the new Spider-Man 2 is also uh, really good here with the Ally X. It's as good or better than it was in my original performance video, even though this driver is not the specific one from AMD with the Spider-Man 2 support, having zero issues in that game. And Fluid Motion Frames 2 works fine there as well, even though I would suggest using in-game frame gen for Spider-Man 2. But yeah, anyways, it does appear this GPU driver update has fixed the Ally X and hopefully it's fixed it for you guys. So give it a check if you were having any trouble with that. All right, guys, as always, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.